either John Wilkinson and History Made Easier. Volksgemeinschaft, the people's community, or the national community as some historians refer to it as. It was to create a new Germany, yet the peasant farmer toiling at the soil was to be its ideal. It was at the very heart of the Nazi revolution. It was to be the creation of a united Germany. Ein Volk, Ein Reich, Ein Führer. And it was to be a Germany in which both party and state were identified as one and the same thing. And party and state expected loyalty, discipline, obedience. It was to be an exclusive community too, with Jews and gypsies, or those with mental or physical disabilities, or those with hereditary diseases, not a part of it. Hence, legislation like the law for the protection of German blood and honour, or uh, the law protecting hereditary health. And hence, Jews were first excluded from working for the state, then excluded from the economy as a whole, before being excluded from society altogether. And of course, there was the attempt to exterminate both Jews and gypsies altogether. What of the community itself though? Well, there was an attempt to protect that peasant farmer. For example, with the Reich entailed farm law. But the worker had to be controlled. Hence, very quickly, independent trade unions were banned and replaced by the German Labour Front, which really lent heavily towards the, um, the, the wants, the wishes of uh, big business. Unemployment was ended, but wages were kept low and rearming was always a priority over consumer goods. Beauty of work, it did improve uh, working conditions in many factories and strength through joy did provide subsidised leisure facilities but they were a poor substitute for free collective bargaining regarding work conditions and wages. The people's community was also both a paternal and a patriarchal community. Men occupying the public sphere as workers or soldiers women occupying the private sphere as wives, as um, mothers, as homemakers. The nation always the priority for both. Both men and women expected to prioritise the nation over their own personal ambitions. Kinder, Kutsch and Kirch was the motto for German women. Children, kitchen and church. Even if the Nazis didn't really want them in church. And they were at the front line when it came to the push for births and for racial purity. And again, I would refer to the law for the protection of German blood and honour. 
there were loans for newlyweds. There were child subsidies and family allowances. But abortions were defined as acts of sabotage against German of against Germany's racial future. And there was Liebensborn. The sense of a people's community could also be seen in the winter relief programme. The one pot Sunday, uh, having a cheap one pot meal at the on the first Sunday of each month. There was also the day of national solidarity. And there was the Volkswagen, the people's car, even if nobody in Nazi Germany ever got to drive a people's car. What of the churches, which could call on an alternative loyalty and held very different values? The Nazis tried to control both churches as much as possible and weaken faith as much as possible. So there was the Reich Church, the Concordat with the Pope and the um, German faith movement. As for German youth, the future of Germany and the Thousand Year Reich, as well as being militarised, they were taught loyalty and discipline and obedience. And there were attempts to make a new Nazi elite with the Napoleon and the Adolf Hitler schools. And of course, the Hitler youth playing its full part too. And so you see Volksgemeinschaft underpinning just about all of Nazi social policy. Understand Volksgemeinschaft and you will understand Nazism. So as always, I thank you for listening. And as always, I remind you to check out my History Made Easier website. But for now, cheers.